but um, you had special stories about prayer when you were a kid and special prayers that that you still remember to this day and so what I wanted you to do was um, share about them pray them um, so that they could hear the words really well and then um, and then tell why that's meaningful to you because you were telling me that translating them doesn't work out well it's, it's just not the same that's yeah. why I would like to teach my great grandkids but like my uh, son said teach it to them in German I said well whatever because now my granddaughter uh, the oldest grandchild she spent a lot of time with Eddie and I and so she understood picked up a lot of the German when we would didn't want her to understand something we'd say it in German well she knew what we were talking about but they were over last night and so her son is taking German he's the one that's graduating from high school and so I said the prayers to him last night well he understood me he said I know what you're saying nice so um, what's the first prayer you want to share with us well it, it, every Sunday morning before we went to church and Sunday school we all knelt around the kitchen table and we each had our own prayer and mine was Ich bin klein, mein Herz ist rein, lass niemand drin wohnen, wie Jesus allein. And that's, I'm small, my heart is here, don't let anyone live there except Jesus. Oh, uh, can you say that again slowly? It's in German. Ich bin klein, mein Herz ist rein, lass niemand drin wohnen, wie Jesus allein. Okay. And then your other siblings had prayers. Everybody had a different prayer. And... But what theirs were, I don't know. That was mine. And why I remembered it, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it meant a lot to me, I guess. And when we, and my night prayer was, Engeli komm, mach mich fromm, dass ich zu dir in Himmel komm. Which is, angel come, make me pure, that you live in my heart, that I get to, that I go to Jesus. But it kind of rhymes in German. Yeah, it does. That's why I say it rhymes in German, but not in English. Yeah. Doesn't mean the same. But right. Those were the two that I really remember. The ones we said when we ate, I don't know. I don't remember them. It was the fastest you could say something so you could start eating. <laughs> that was about it. So, do say something fast so you can start eating. I believe it's the ramen. And don't ask me. Thank you for the top ramen? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that was about it. And my brother, that was six years older than I, the minute he said his, he'd say, Pass the Borscht, which is Pass the Bologna. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he and I did a lot together because we worked together out in the, in the barn. We milked the cows 